Hey everyone, my name is Shaky Banks. I'm here with my buddy Pickle Rick. And today we're going to be talking about uh, Pokemon Unite accessibility tier list. How many thumbs do you need to play any character in Pokemon Unite? So we got <laughs> tier number one, any thumb. If you have a thumb, you can play this character. Mm. Number two, we got left thumbers. So left thumb, of course, being the movement thumb. And then coming down here, we got the right thumbers. This is the aiming thumb. Mons that more or less just need to be able to aim. And then we have double thumb Mons here. Second to bottom here. And then down here all the way at the bottom, we got three plus thumbs required Mons. And Pickle Rick, could you kind of tell us a little bit about the inspiration for this tier list here? Of course. Um, so I have injured my right thumb. And now I am discovering that I sh I can play Pokemon that don't require the um, the right thumb. I am using my index finger, my middle finger, and my ring finger to press all these buttons. Uh, the one thing that I'm giving up is that aiming, because I can't aim that circular the the joystick on the right. But yeah, we're gonna figure out which mons you can play with all these thumbs. Yeah, so. Ideally, we're looking at the left thumber category here. So let's uh, let's just go down the line here. First, we got Venusaur. I think this is a left thumber mon. Like you just need to move around, right? Uh, yes. Unless you're playing, but you have to be playing pedal dance. Play, yeah. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very important to specify. This is for the pedal dance build. You just walk around and a press people while they stand in your big circle. Okay. Uh, Blastoise. Oh, yeah. Confirm. Give it over to Blastoise. Is... If you play Rapid Spin, you just... Rapid Spin, same reason. Just walk around, Rapid Spin into people. Mm. Just going down the line here, looking at Gengar. This is a two-thumber. You got to be able to aim those skill shots. Mr. Mine? Okay, yeah. You, I think that's a two-thumber, because you need... I think cause you, on both of them, you have, you have a skill shot towards your teammates. And then the other one, you need the skill shot towards the walls. I think so. Yeah. I think we're going to start to see a theme here of like Mons with skill shots like Snorlax, Gardevoir. I don't know. I think that Gardevoir is a three thumb Mon when it comes to aiming stuff. <laughs> Feels like it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what what would be a right thumber? Is, or sorry. Uh, so you put the Blastoise and the... And uh, you have the movement, so that your the orange one means you have a, a movement thumb, or you don't have a movement thumb. Yeah, so left thumb, left thumber is for people who only have their left thumb to move. What do you think about the right thumb? Because you need to move, so that one's almost guaranteed. Yeah, right? it's kind of hard to play without that. Because you lose also your your unite move, and what's on the left hand? Oh, and your 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 scouting ability. So you lose because what do you do on this one? Yeah, you kind of need all all mons need that, no? They need the the left thumb. Yeah. Yeah. So this is kind of a mute category where if you don't have a right thumb, you're just not playing the game. <laughs> well, wait, hold up, because you can in the settings you can. That it's such that your You're aim, the left one move? yeah, your aim follows your left thumb. Oh, that'd be interesting. Let me see. Yeah, I think that works out for you a little bit better. So you can play mons like that, like Lucario. You can aim with your left thumb. Uh, yeah, the the movement, the movement aims. Yes, you're correct. I think that fixes a lot of characters on this tier list. I'll say it does. Yeah. I think Espeon for sure is a left thumber because it's just uh, you don't have to aim if you're playing the no skill shop mm -hmm. build. Absol aims Charizard. Charizard, if you but you have to play the um, the fire punch. Yeah, that's an auto lock on. And what's the other one? The fire punch and uh, blade, blade flare blitz. That's oh, also man. a lock on, right? That one's a lock on. The other one's a movement, so you'd be able to use your right thumb to move. I see. I'm oh, sorry, your left thumb. I see, okay. I see. 
Cram, I gotta mm. say, Cram is double thumbs. I don't play much Cram. Yeah, you kind of need to aim with Cram. Pikachu is pretty point and click. Think, Actually, you can yeah, be... point and click. I think that one could be any thumb. Yeah, because if you play you play uh, Electro Ball and uh, Volt Tackle, you can kind of just press buttons. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Buzz will definitely a uh, double thumb on here. That's a three thumber. Three thumber. If you really, if you really, yeah, like three thumber, because he can do so much. Right. If you start doing the techs, start mm-hmm. doing the the Gaflu tech. If you don't know what that is, it's like you punch backwards and then eject forwards, and you can get in front of someone with your punch and knock them back to where you came from. And you cover a lot of range too, right? Yeah, and insane you can get them from kind of far away. Mm-hmm. I think. I think Sylveon goes up here, left thumber. You can play that with one thumb. Mm-hmm. Especially you would have you would have to play the uh, the draining kiss. Right. So draining mm-hmm. kiss, really tough. You run around and mm-hmm. sing. And then... that one, I think you, that one, I think it can be a right thumber. No, because you just kind of run run around, and your ability. I mean, it's sort of a skill shot, but you kind of do whatever's in front of you. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can play this with your left thumb. Yeah. Let's see. You're you're usually healing, and that's point and click. So that is. I think the other one, the other build, would be a little easier too, especially because you know you lose a lot of mobility. It's so easy to just press two buttons and run around. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So yeah, Blissy also a one thumb mon. I think we can. That's an any thumb. It's an any thumb. <laughs> that's an any thumb. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think we kind of realized like you, the left thumb is necessary, right? Because if you can't move, you can't play the game. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You can't play the game. I think we need to get rid of some of these categories. It's really, it's just these three options, right? Mm hmm. Absolutely. What do you think, Absol? I don't play a lot of Absol. That's kind of where I'm stuck. Yeah, Absol, I think because you're a speedster, you have to have very good pathing, very good movement. And then Pursuit is kind of point and click. Because it's a a basic attack. And then, yeah, you could actually... Yeah, because you aim with your left stick on Absol, you could definitely play this with your left thumb. Okay, so the movement ability. Garchomp. That one, isn't he just a lot of auto attacks? It is a lot of auto attacks, and you can do the combo with your, you can aim the combo with your left thumb. So this game is surprisingly, surprisingly accessible to people with a left thumb. With just the left thumb. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You will find them on, for sure. Yeah, Yeah. I was trying uh, Zero, Zero Arc. Zora, Zora, hmm. the the yellow, the speeds there, the yeah. yellow one. That one is also um, a big volt switch, and the other one are both can be used with your left thumb. So you don't really need a lot of skill shots; just a lot of auto attack, and then you move your movement. Good to know. I'm thinking about Kressel here. You do mm-hmm. have to. You do need the right stick to aim the walls. You could play shell smash. X scissor, you could do that with just your left thumb. Okay. Greninja. I think that's either a two or a three thumber because both both abilities require the the right thumb. Because even the um the surf requires a right. Because that one is not considered movement, or is it? Yeah, you can aim it with your left stick. Yeah. But I would kind of like to have... You do need the right stick for the ult. So I would say this is a two-thumber. Yeah. Okay. Talon, you do need the right... Yeah, you do need your right thumb for Talon. For early laning. First or, ultimate, right? Yeah. For his, uh, for his, like, his first moves. I forget what they're called. Like aerial ace. Not aerial ace, but the, the one you start out with. A little fly move. I'm not sure. Okay. Cinderace is a lot of point and click. You could definitely play point and click Cinderace. You got your point fake. and click Cinderace. You would have to do um, uh, the spin move 
yeah, faint. and the faint and um, blaze kick. That's how yeah. you get around that. That's the build for that. Eldegoss, you can point and click. Can you? I think so. Because you can play... The second move doesn't well, matter. Well, it technically auto-targets, but it only auto-targets to an enemy. So you... Right. We're talking about Palm Puff. That auto-targets enemies. I think you can aim Leaf Tornado with your left stick, though. Maybe not. This one's kind of iffy. But your second moves for sure, they're AoEs and you don't need a skill shot to use those. Clefable. Fable is just AoE. So that's definitely a left thumb mon. Except for the Unite sometimes will... Yeah, you kind of do need two thumbs for the Fable. Thumbs. I mean, over here it's a Ninetales. Oh, that's pretty funny. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Sorry about that. The call dropped a little bit. Oh yeah, I thought it was on my end. No, it's all it was all me. Okay, looking at nine tails, I think nine tails is a two thumber because you got to have your positioning and aim your skill shot. No, if you play the Aurora Veil, it's just auto attacks. I, you're right. You're right. But you still have to play dazzling gleam, which is a skill but, shot. Uh, thinking a lot of those, like if because you're talking about the pre evolution right before you get to your to your main abilities. Yeah. I think all of them require it though. It's like it's kind of one of those like you lose a thumb, you're already behind, you're gonna have to play harder anyway. Yeah. So like the first ones are going to be hard. Like all you have to worry about is get get to that to that power spike. You're never going to like you know you you're never going to be able to find a mon that doesn't require a skill shot. At least a s like a certain type of skill shot. I see. So is that an argument for double thumb? Mm. No, I'm saying that's an argument for left thumb only. Okay, I see. Low bro. You can directionally aim oh, slow bro, no. surf, and then play amnesia. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very the good. Th the only thing you would really need is if you wanted to aim your ult, but who does that, right? <laughs> yeah, just walk up to him. I think, I think left thumb is super important for Machamp, though, in terms of aiming dynamic punch but you could play submission cross chop which only requires the left stick okay mammal swine mammal swine i don't play a lot of mammal oh well you kind of require because the only one i've played has been the uh fame one and i think you do require a skill shot for that one because it's not a movement I think it's directional. Yeah, is so it? if you're facing the right direction, you can use your ice fang. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and then so is high horsepower. So you could run that build with only your left thumb. Okay. Greedent? I don't think you definitely need a right thumb for Greedent. Because you're like spitting bullet seed everywhere, or you're trying to hit the belt uh -huh. as you're speeding around. It'd be very difficult to pilot with a single thumb. I would say same for. Wait. For Decidui, you can definitely do because you have uh, the auto attack build. Yeah. And then Battle Sneak. Yeah. And so you don't really need to do anything else. It's definitely not the optimal build, but you could play without aiming. <laughs> uh, I, think I mean, no, it is not the optimal build, but yeah. we have a thumb. <laughs> yeah. Not having, missing a thumb isn't optimal either. It's optimal for not having a thumb. <laughs> yes, exactly. Just I, like Greninja. It, look, it looks like Greninja actually works without a thumb. Yeah. Funny stuff. <laughs> Funny stuff. <laughs> I like you can ask him Greninja. He just, he, yeah, he works without a thumb. And then Dragonite, you can play the Outrage and Outrage. then point and click damage. 
extreme speed build. Mm-hmm. So that's definitely one thumb. I think you need a thumb for Serena. It's Unite Move is point and click, but the rest of the stuff is. It, it's all direct. Yeah, it's all. It is directional, it's though. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, so you could aim with your left stick. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Serena, as complicated as she is, you could play with one stick. Trevnant, you can definitely play Trevnant with one stick, too. Is his his, uh, horn leech? Is that one directional? It is directional. The wood hammer is directional, although it would be nice to have an aiming stick for wood hammer. Curse. Mm. Curse is AoE, and then pain split is just when you click. So it has an option, huh? Yeah. Age of Slash, you can also play Age of Slash with left stick. I don't know that Mon at all, so I would have thought he would be a three comer. He's a complicated Mon, but in terms of aiming, it's a lot of boosted autos, which are just point and click. Mm. And you can aim his first aggressive skill either... Oh, this is such a funny test of how well you know the the move names. The Shadow Claw and then their Sacred Sword. And those are both, you can aim them with your left stick. Okay. Hoopa, you definitely need two thumbs for Hoopa just to aim your... Oh, that's a three thumb. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Three thumbs and a brain. <laughs> <laughs> that's a motto. <laughs> what did your team bring to the, to the table? Two thumbs and a brain. Three thumbs and a brain. <laughs> Fun, fun. Okay, Dura. What? How we feel about Dura? Is mm. I mean, you can do the easy build would be the um, the I don't have, yeah like you said this is a test of how well you know the the move sets. Um, not the cannon version, but the other one where he charges up. Oh yeah, yeah. That's just like point and click AOE. Hmm. What is that move called? Flash cannon. And then Flash. No, that's the other one. The one where you make the big circle and you just shoot at people? No, where he charges and then he like he oh, sends dragon out like all these pulse, yeah. Dragon pulse. Okay. Yeah, so dragon pulse and then what's the other one? It's dragon pulse, flash cannon, stealth frost. Well, it would be the tail, the iron dragon. tail. Yeah, Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail. Dragon Tails. Dragon Tails. I love that show. Same. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one is directional. That one's a movement direction. Is it? Which one? The Dragon no, Tail? He, it, yeah, it moves him afterwards, but I don't think it's a movement ability. It. it you can aim it with your left stick. Oh. But sometimes you don't want to do that because you. You, you have, want to. You have to aim it while you're running away. So while you're pressing away with your right mm-hmm. stick, you're aiming it at the opponent, so you get a little bit of a scoot back. Yes. So you do need a right thumb for that. You do need a right thumb. So I wanted to clarify because the right thumb also presses the A button. So. Well, no. The what's pressing the A button is the uh, middle finger or the index finger. I see. I see. So. We're only concerned about the right stick when we're talking about double thumb mons. Correct, yeah, because it's going to take some time, but I can press all the buttons. My middle finger presses the the first skill, and my ring finger presses the second skill. So the only thing that I'm missing is that, that one, that joystick. I got you. Okay. Awesome, let's move on to Azu. I think, <laughs> I know for sure, Play Rough water not water pulse whirlpool you just need a left stick for that and then point and click unite move it's a pretty simple kit delphox mm. i think delphox is a skill shot based mon delphox is definitely a skill shot based mon doesn't matter how which way you put it yeah what about titar I think- um i think 
Pitar has one move that it can be move can be like with the right left joystick with the movement stick, but I'm not really sure about the other one. I think I like that mon because I can turn off my brain and just run at them, so I don't really <laughs> think a lot about the, like what this move set is. Yeah, I do think it's nice to have the right stick for Dark Pulse or Stone Edge. Okay. I'm going to put this as a double thumb. Mew, for sure. That's an easy double thumb. That's, that's a three thumb. That's they a three thumb. You're right. That's a three thumber. Uh, Glaceon? I, um, I think that would be a two thumber. Because like you, you have the point and click. Oh, no. We have point and click. And then yeah. also his icicle one's point and click. Yeah. So how much you play Glaceon. Yeah, you could definitely... You can definitely get away with one thumb on Glaceon. Thanks are not so much. You do have to hit those skill shots. Okay. So two, two thumber. Dodrio. Um, Dodrio was the first one I thought of because most of his abilities are with his left thumb. Are with the movement uh, thumb. So You're right. I have to try. It, it, that one it would be because I don't play a lot of them. So I'm thinking like that's the one mod that I thought of immediately because it's like I only have movement. What well, what well, Pokemon plays just movement? The Drio. It's so true. This one I need I need to play test. The only thing is you can't play Tri Attack because you need to have the right thumb mm. to be the right stick to be using Tri Attack. But the other builds are up for grabs. Okay. Scyther, I think Scyther is pretty point and clicky. Is he? he or Sciz Scizor. Because he's got bull punch cool. and then the other moves are just left stick directional inputs. Well, this game is actually left right thumb friendly. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. You cut the right thumb, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sableye. Yeah, man, Sableye. Yeah, I guess he's thief. That's you can aim with your left stick. Okay. I mean, theoretically, you could play with your left stick. You just wouldn't be able to use faint attack. You can't throw the little poopies. Oh, okay. You can't just press them because you don't have to aim them. You can just like walk around and keep pressing it, and like they kind of go where they go. You're right. Yeah, you could play Sableye faint attack badly with one thumb. <laughs> Badly, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can definitely play this mom with your left thumb. Zorak, that's three thumbs in a brain right there. That's three thumbs in a brain and a comfy and a comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Being a comfy, that's a one thumb Pokemon. <laughs> that's a zero. Did we remove the zero thumb? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you, uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Let's get a zero thumbs up here. Uh zero thumbs and, and no brain <laughs> not a row above oh shoot oh I messed up I messed up so bad okay we have to double time now we need a, a roar veil and auto attack so okay and then this category is no thumbs no thumbs. Hmm. I would think the red Urshifu does require some skill shot. But the other oh wait, I guess I don't know about the other one. Is the other one um blue Urshifu is that one uh auto attack or sorry, uh auto auto block? Yeah, you can aim the blue blue shifu with your left stick. Right. And the second move is just AoE. And mm -hmm. then re Red or Shifu. Red or Shifu. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like, you probably can't hit your skill shot if you don't have your second thumb. Dragon Pole? That's a little bunch of point and click. Yeah. Even if you do just a spin one, what's it called? The the one that he does like a big circle? That yeah. one's also just, because you just press it and you just wait until <laughs> it's over. I, I, do you think that you need to press your right stick to pick a direction on which way to use Dragon Dance? 
Oh, okay. So this might just be the Phantom Force build. It's left might just be the other one. Gudra, you kind of have to aim your stuff. Ooh. Yeah. Lapras, just AOE attacker. I, I don't think you need. Well, you do for your it, ice beam. It, has, it yeah. has ice beam and the other one, a bubble beam. Yeah. And those bullets are just directional. Yeah. Uh, is Ashian, though? I think that's just left thumb, right? Because you have the dash and then the circle, yeah. Sometimes you need your right thumb to aim your Unite, though. True, yeah. Because you... No, because doesn't it do it towards the direction that you're facing? You're right, yeah. It is just the left thumb on. I think Shandy is two thumbs here. Definitely you gotta aim. two thumbs, if not three thumbs, because he's super cool. Yeah, Umbreon, you can play with two thumbs with your mean look and your AoE. Mm -hmm. On... Yeah, but that's another one you can't play Wish on because it, that one requires it to move the left, even though it auto attacks, it auto targets, it auto targets your your yourself. teammates. Yeah, it first targets your, yourself and then your teammates if you're if you just press it. So you would never be able to heal your teammates. Yeah, yeah, that would be a greedy Umbreon, but you can play mm -hmm. Snarl because it's AOE. Snarl and would work. You just walk mm -hmm. around and hit people with your left thumb. Leafeon is definitely. I don't know. <laughs> well, the leaf blade is, is, is definitely skill shot. Yeah. And I'm not sure about the other one. I would think no, because it's a two dashes, right? It's a yeah. dash and oh, aerial and then the, the leaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can play with left thumb if you play aerial ace and then the, what is it, razor leaf? Razor leaf. Is it razor leaf? It's the leaf one that shoots out five leaves. Yeah, that one. Looks, it reminds me of the Talon from League of Legends. Oh, I see. You can play Inteleon with a left thumb if you play. Uh, pew pews, yeah. Yeah, um, liquidation prep prep pew pew. Me two X definitely a left thumb mon. It's all point and click. Point and click. Me two Y the same. Same, because then you just play recover and then you just <laughs> yeah. And then Blaziken, I think you need to be. That one requires three thumbs because it like you're also changing between your stances and stuff. Yeah. I mean, unless you stay in one stance, but then you're not utilizing. You kind of fall into that point. It's like you're playing it bad. Yeah. yeah I'm with you there. Mimikyu, I use my right thumb a lot when I'm playing Mimikyu. Okay. Do both? Doesn't one of them auto target the play rough? Yeah, play rough isn't. Playoff is a skill shot, but you're invincible. Mm, okay. So two thumbs. Yeah, I would recommend two thumbs for Mimikyu. I don't have a lot of experience with any of these mods. Yeah, I'll take over here. I think Miascarada. I think I would recommend two thumbs for Miascarada in terms of the moves. Metagross, you can play with... I want to say you can play with one thumb because... Magnet Rise is a movement ability. Zen Headbutt needs to be aimed. No one does. Gyro but Ball. Be hmm? it, yeah, it would, be, it would be Magnet and Gyro Ball. Because Gyro Ball just does the spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that mm -hmm. area of effect. And then finally, Gyarados. You can definitely play Magikarp with left stick only. And then ah, you need your right stick for bounce. Honestly, I'm not sure about how Aqua Tail and Waterfall work. Mm -hmm. We'd have to consult a specialist on this one. But just for the moment, I'm going to say this is a two thumb mon. Okay. It's just. Someone... Gonna... Yeah. Got to phone a friend? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Someone call Henry. But yeah, that's the cool. tier list right there. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. And let's see, how many people do we have in the cast? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Remember that number, thirty-nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 right. double thumbers, and one, two, three, four, five, six, three thumbs and a brain mon. So that's 27 <laughs> that you and need then... two thumbs to play. Yep. And what was that number I asked you to remember? 39. 39. 40. <laughs> no, I think I included Comfey in the original 39. Oh, did you? Yeah. So add those together and you get 50, 69 characters? No, 40, uh, 59, 60, 65. 65, thank you. Yeah, so we have 65 characters in the game right now and like you can play 70% of them with only the left stick so that's pretty accessible i like it i like it also i don't know how this would translate with to the uh phone because with the phone you have you can't have your top two fingers to help you that's a different story that's a different topic that is a completely different tier list so 